Hey guys, how you doing? Joe Paul Gates, aka John the Film Actor, and I'm at a special location actually uh, in uh, East London, Romford, uh, at the guest of uh, Spencer Hawkins' uh, uh, Romford uh, Horror Film Festival, and I've just, funny enough, that there's various booze today. I don't know whether it's are you doing this on Saturday and Sunday as well? I see you are, yeah. So anyway, so they're here the weekend, and I've just come round to this particular booth because it's very, very interesting. You've got a lot of um, short stories, and uh, they're doing it from all the way let letters of the alphabet. So a story for each letter of the alphabet, or many stories for each letter of the alphabet. Anyway, so I'm going to introduce and let them explain on our show what exactly they're doing. So, Madam, what's your name? Uh, I'm Leanne, I'm like novice. Right, and this gentleman here? Peter. Peter, Peter. So, who would be better to describe what you're doing then? So, ladies first, yeah, okay. Peter, all right, Peter. Okay, so the A to Z of horror is a series of anthologies. And each book with a different theme, obviously starting with A. Each book has 13 stories in it by 13 different writers. So we started with Aliens, which came out start of 2020, I believe. Beasts, cannibals, and so on. All the way through to Owens for Outbreak. Um, and P is for Poltergeist actually came out on Amazon today. Um, and that pretty much sums it up. See, if we work it through to Z, we should have them all out by the end of next year at the most. Yes, if we go on schedule. Yeah, schedule. Okay, so my question is, and I'm sure everybody else would like to find out, whether you'd want to, or have, have you had any offers to turn these books into celluloid? In other words, has any filmmaker said, right, okay, I'm interested, I want to take one of those stories and... Uh, and uh, make them into a film? Not yet. From the A to Z? No, no. not yet. Um, a few have been picked up on a YouTube channel. Is it, uh, Mick Dark, he narrates a lot of stories on there, sound effects, and that kind of thing. Um, he's really good, he's picked out quite a few ways to read the A to Z books. But not for film yet. Yet. Watch this face. <laughs> okay, so, so, um, so tell me, other than attending, you know, various film festivals, how else do you monetize these uh, these books? Um, everything that we've published, which I think now is getting on for about eighty titles, um, is available on our website, which is redcapepublishing.com. Uh, everything's available on Amazon, and digital versions of books are available everywhere. Kobo and, and on Godless. And on Godless. Um, and most of our books are available on Audible and iTunes as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, so uh, we had a chat just beforehand, and I was, um, I was actually hopefully giving you words of wisdom. I was saying maybe it might be an idea for you to take some of those stories and then do them yourself. What's your view about that? Yeah, and presumably you've got your own equipment to potentially film? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so... Absolutely. So it's just it's just about getting the money and uh, having the time to do it. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, time. time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Thanks very much. And uh, you know, as I say, check these guys out on the websites they were talking about. You mentioned Godless. What yeah, is that? yeah. Godless Horrors is uh, it's an ebook platform, and they started just coming up to their two-year anniversary. Actually, now huge. They started taking on ebooks that Amazon wouldn't publish or that Amazon banned. Sort of more the extreme horror side of things, and now it's it's anything horror related. Um, they're really good and they're really good value. They're always cheaper on Godless than they are anywhere else. Talk to Drew. Yeah, I highly recommend them. Godless.com. Well, they have it, guys. Yeah, no excuses. So if you want to make uh, horror films and uh, you you've got no ideas, these are the people to come to. John Paul Gates. See you next time.